what's going on y'all hit y'all off with a quick video um so i end up going on google or whatever you know see what's going on with the packers and shit so um comes to find out that the bears end up signing mike Patton to their defensive staff um i mean <laughs> you know typical bears uh typical theme they do um you know pick up our scraps and think that that's gonna put them over the top one thing i'm gonna say about teams like the bears teams like the lions teams like the vikings is that they're not willing to bring in people that could fit the narrative i don't think that mike penn is gonna put them over the top um if anything is gonna weaken y'all um I think a lot of the times what they think is that, okay, we could bring in this player and this can help us have an edge on um, our rivals, you know? No. Um, I mean, three years ago, we were not making the playoffs. You know, two years in a row, we made it to the NFC Championship, which, would again, were, you know, two seasons that, you know, we blew. And most of the time, the emphasis was on the defense giving up plays and that's one thing that Mike Pettin would do would give up game changing plays now this NFC championship loss wasn't just Mike Pettin's fault um you know one call you know uh definitely um sealed the victory which was the the uh him giving up a touchdown at the end of the first half you know um which was actually the difference because we only lost by six. But, like I said, man, with any team, man, if you're not willing to take chances bringing in new people to reinvigorate your organization, then you're just going to stay mediocre, you know? Um, we got rid, rid of him for a reason. Obviously, the Bears didn't realize that, and they're willing to pay a guy who, you know, had to go here, you know? And did we have the talent to, to to win? Yeah. But he just didn't have the talent to call the right plays. So, again, typical Bears, you know, um, willing to take our scraps and, and, and see where that could take them. And more times than not, it has not done anything. So, what do you all think of it? Um, <laughs> you know, I, like I said, I think it was, it, it was stupid, you know, to, to you know, bring in somebody who obviously um, doesn't have what it takes to coach in this league right now, you know, to give up, you know, that many yards, that many plays to a 43-year-old um, quarterback, and then last year to give up almost 300 yards rushing proves that you don't belong in the league. But, you know, it ain't my call to say. I don't own a team. But I'm glad we got him up out of here. So, again, what do y'all think? Was it smart for the Bears to do or was it dumb? You know, let me know. Y'all like, comment, subscribe. Let me know, man. It is what it is. I'll let y'all in the next video. Peace.